What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Nerf Rival Helios. This blaster in the Rival line shoots the Rival rounds, and it's pretty much the successor to the Nerf Rival Apollo. And it's very similar to the Apollo using the 7 round magazine and its spring action. Let's get into the review. Included is the blaster itself, the detachable bolt handle, 7 round magazine, a few rival rounds, team indicator flags, and the instructions. So let's start out with the external overview of the Helio starting up with the front. Of course it has no in strike barrel attachment point just like all the other rival blasters, but a pretty cool looking muzzle nonetheless, and above that a little sling mount. Behind that is the Nerf Rival Tactical Rail to attach your red dot or any of the rival attachments up there. Then to the priming handle, this is a spring action blaster just like the Apollo. To prime, you pull back on the handle, but then you can let go and there's a spring return, which is different than the Apollo. I have it installed on the left, but it's a removable bolt handle. Removing it's pretty easy. You have to put your finger in to kind of release the latch, and then you can pull it out and put it right in on the other side if you're a left-handed shooter. Full ambi, bro. Gotta go ambi for the tactics. It's super fast to remove that bolt handle if you need to change it back and forth or also for storage. So that's definitely a cool feature that I hope Nerf continues in the future. Below the bolt handle is the access door. To open that, you just, you know, wedge that slide open. If you have any jams or malfunctions, opening the access door will help you clear it out a little faster. Below the access door is the trigger lock, as they call it, or the safety. Talk about these tactics. It's full ambi, bro, over here and over here. Gotta go ambi, bro. And the trigger lock, as the title may suggest, locks the trigger. So when it's down, you can't pull the trigger. Then you raise it and you can fire. And below that safety is the trigger itself. Uh, no comments about the trigger. Down to the handle, it's a really wide, beefy handle, very similar to the Apollo. And that's in part because it's also the magazine well, so it has to be bigger than this, obviously, because this goes in to that. The grip feels very similar to the Apollo, but I would say the Apollo is uh, more comfortable. This has this odd like line right here that gets a little uncomfortable after you shoot it a few hundred times. My testing procedure is pretty repetitive by design, so I can experience issues like this and get annoyed with blasters that have annoyances. But if you're not shooting hundreds and hundreds of rounds repeatedly in a row, without like breaking, this might not bother you. But worth pointing out because some people are pickier than others. And at the bottom of the grip is the magazine release, just like the Apollo. So to remove the magazine, you just push that and pull out the mag. The included magazine holds seven rounds, but the Helios is compatible with the existing 12 round magazines from the Zeus and also sold separately. That noise though. Loading these rival mags is very easy. You just get the rival round and push down and placing the magazine back in as, as expected just like the Apollo. Moving back on the blaster, there is an unjamming button right here, which I did have to use during my jams. Typically, after you prime the blaster once, it will prevent you from priming it again. But when you do encounter a jam, you need to be able to pull back the priming handle to clear out the jam. So pulling down on this button releases that lock. And with the magazine out, just racking it like that again should clear out that jam. I jammed it a few times and that procedure cleared it every time. And right behind that unjamming button, there's a little slot in the shell right here and also on the other side, which is the priming indicator. So I can see all the way through it when it's not primed. Then you prime it back and it's blocked. So if you forget if you primed it or not, you can look there to see. And below that priming indicator is the a rear sling mount or the flag mount. The Helios comes with two indicator flags, so if you're playing red versus blue, get that trashed on the floor. Just kidding. Blue team for life, bro. But you can hook on that flag and indicate what color you're on. So, you know, yeah. And the included flags can also be worn kind of like this, so you can strap it around your arm and you tie it through the, the thin slot and then that will actually stay still, more or less. If you're actually using these flags not to like look cool and stuff, but to actually separate out teams, the rear of the blaster is really not an ideal place for that, because if I'm pointing a blaster at you, that's maybe not visible. Up on the upper arm on the left hand side would be great because that's generally pointed forward when I'm looking at you to shoot or headbands which is probably the best place for team indicators. But those are the team indicator flags back to the stock. This stock is actually a stock compared to the Apollo which really was kind of uncomfortable. There's this nice little crevice in the shoulder so when you're priming it back it wants to catch your shoulder compared to the Apollo which is flat and just didn't feel like a stock at all. The Apollo feels more like a pistol with a really big butt that you're not supposed to touch or <laughs> as if it were designed to prime like this instead of off your shoulder. I think Hasbro saw how many people were priming the Apollo off the shoulder because it's easier and they implemented that change into the Helios to make it easier to prime which is solid and it's pretty comfortable. The overall stock length is pretty short but they're going for a smaller build just like the Apollo so that's really not a complaint. So that's the external overview of the Helios again to fire you load up the seven round magazine or find the 12 round mags you prime back like that and pew pew. Included seven round mag. Now moving to the extended bags. For some reason I'm gonna to switch to lefty now. Freaking tactics, bro, I can't.
Firing the rival Helios was pretty fun. I put this blaster up in my chronograph and I got an average velocity of 92 feet per second. That's a little under the rival par of 100 FPS. But overall operation of the blaster was pretty smooth. But I want to talk a bit about the jams that I've experienced with this blaster because this blaster is somewhat unique in that the Helios has a spring return bolt handle. So when I let go of it, the spring returns the bolt, just like the strong arm and the disruptor. However, the strong arm and disruptor and all the other examples I can think of with a spring return do not use magazine feeding systems. And the big difference there is when that spring is returning the bolt, it's mouthing a dart in the breaching system up here. Generally, that's done manually, like with the Apollo or the Retaliator or all the other spring magazine fed blasters. So when you're shutting the bolt, you're mouthing that dart. And I want to point out that I think a lot of people are going to complain about this blaster saying it jams a lot, but I think most of those complaints are going to really be human error. So when I very slowly climb back the blaster and completely let go without touching it at all, it never jammed. Not once. Every jam was when my hand kind of rode the bolt handle, and then that doesn't shut it all the way. Like that. And as a firearm instructor, I run into this issue with real steel a lot. And every time I say, just pull back the slide and completely let go. And they'll ride it just a little bit and say, nah, -uh, no, I didn't. I didn't touch it at all. And it's this human fallacy of, no, I did it perfectly. The machine is broken. But in this case, even just a tiny amount of pressure or adding any resistance to its return can cause a jam, just like with a pistol. So if you keep jamming it, that's very likely the issue. Try not to blame the machine. Learn how to use the machine better. Silly humans. An alternative to that after you prime is to completely manually just haul it in and, and shut it very quickly. But it's that inconsistent or unsmooth return that can cause a jam. It's a case of the human having to learn how to use the machine, the machine is not dummy proof. So it might be less user friendly, but it's not mechanically flawed. Rant over. Humans just suck. Silly muggles and their machines. So overall opinion on the rival Helios. Overall, I like it. I think it's a proper successor to the Apollo. The Apollo was pretty difficult to prime because of that lever that I complained about extensively in that review and pretty much every time I use the Apollo on video. But the Helios has a smoother, what feels to be a lighter prime with a stock that allows you to brace up against the shoulder comfortably, making it even easier to prime back. The spring return is also pretty cool, but you have to learn how to use it. And what's even cooler than that is the full ambi bolt handle, which I just think is like fun. You can very quickly unplug it and put it in the other side if you're a lefty or you needed it to be flat for storage for whatever reason. I do like the more traditional trigger safety instead of the button and it's full ambi. So if you're lefty, you can use it just as easily. But other than that, it feels very similar to the rival Apollo. If you hated the Apollo, you probably won't like this one. But in my opinion, it really is just the Apollo successor. If you say to yourself, hey, I want to go get a spring action magazine fed rival blaster, I would say, go get the Helios. I think it's better than the rival Apollo, but if you already have an Apollo, I'm not sure it's worth the money to upgrade. It's so similar. It's a better version of it, but it's not like drastically upgraded. Unless of course you, it's just time for you to, to see something new. You'd like the white paint or there's another reason you want it. But overall, pretty happy with the rival Helios. If you're interested in purchasing the rival Helios, I'll put a buy link in the description box below. Hopefully I've provided all the information you need to make that purchase decision. That concludes the review. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, bros, stay tactical.